So, hi, I'm Mr. Parker, and I'm going to be going over the Concerto Number no. 1 in A minor by Johann Sebastian Bach. Um, I'm just briefly going to play from the beginning to letter B. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm playing it under tempo just so we can get an idea of what the style should be, um, as well as the um, notes and the fingerings and the slurs and all the ties. It has a lot of things to it, but we're just going to take it one step at a time. My challenge, like I just said, with me taking it one step at a time, I'm going to do separate videos of it showing different chunks of it at a time, but what I want you to do as well is to make sure that you practice this in bits as well. So taking it, whether it's the first measure, second measure, third measure, fourth measure, just doing that much of the first phrase and then the next phrase and so forth and so forth. Don't try and do it all at one time. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so for the exception of me messing up that second to last measure, um, I think that the biggest thing you want to go for this is phrasing overall, okay? So phrasing basically being, if you're saying a sentence, you want to make sure it's the entirety of the sentence, not just a bit of it. Um, like, for example, my name is Mr. Parker, or even saying it where you're stumbling over your words, like, my favorite color is green, you know, so you want to make sure you keep it nice and consistent. So even at the very beginning, you want to keep the first bar, four bars as a subphrase, the subphrase. Okay, that's just the first statement in itself, and then you want to keep it, keep it going. so forth okay so then with the next part starting at measure eight you kind of have like an elision where it's ending kind of a sub phrase and then it's all going also into the next phrase b d d d d d d d d d d okay it's going on into the next thing so you want to make sure that you keep it going be careful of all the ties especially in this particular line so if we're counting uh, one and two and a measure A, I'm going to start on B2. You want to make sure you're really thinking about the subdivisions because that's all the ties are over the um, bar line. Okay, so you have one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and one two and one. Uh, sorry, now I'm messing up. But anyway. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and one. Okay, so all those ties that you have there, you want to make sure that you watch out for. And notice, even for me, I messed up on one of them myself. Okay, so make sure you're really counting that out and also practice it with the metronome. It will help you, I promise you. Okay, so then if I kept going on to measure A. For those ties and slur, I'm really working the bow, watch as I'm doing this. Okay, and I know I have a really big hand here, I'm a really small screen on my phone, but that's what you want to make sure you're looking out for, okay? And then last but not least, in measure 24, ah, same pitch. Okay, 
so all of those slurs you want to definitely make sure you account for as well as the ties <laughs> And be careful of that shift. So three, two, one, four, three, shift to two on the D, or two on A for D. Shift to third position. Shift back to second position. And uh, that's it for the most of the um, first part of the concerto number one. So enjoy, happy practice.